This is a 12th century crossbow. There's very little evidence for exactly what they look like and how they worked. Um, there is an account from Anna Komnemna, uh, where she's explaining the new weapons, um, which she obviously hasn't seen before. So I think we can assume that in the run-up and, and just around that period, they are unusual. Um, saying that, this one has got a U bow, which is a standard wood for, for bows. It has an ash stock, an antler nut. We do not know if the, the nuts were pinned or, or held in place with a cord. I've opted for a cord. Uh, and I've put horn inserts on the sides to reinforce that area of the stock. The bridle is a standard hemp bridle and this one draws 140 pounds at four and a half inches. It suffers from what all crossbows suffer from and that is a short draw. So the poundage sounds great but the draw is short and that gives a limited amount of time that it can put energy into the bolt. There is no stirrup, that's the most obvious difference. It's only around 1200 that people seem to get the idea of a stirrup. It is spanned by either sitting on your butt and putting one foot on either side of the bow and drawing the string back, or this one is not so powerful at 140 pounds, you may put one foot upon the limb and draw it back. But the absence of the stirrup means that actually the bow is liable to damage. It also limits a lot the, the actual uh, amount that you're able to span the bow, the draw weight, and indeed of course soldiers sitting down and standing up all the time, it doesn't help with warfare. So the advent of the stirrup allowing you to use the lower back helps massively, but that's not for about another hundred years. Right, I'll show you how it shoots. Set the nut, again I have opted not for a spring on this trigger, I'm thinking that they probably didn't have springs on the trigger, so this one does not have one. So you set the nut, foot on the side of the bow, draw back, and then as this has a fairly short groove, I just pop my thumb on top of the bolt. This is also a useful method if you're shooting down from battlements. You do not need a bolt clip. So go again. And shoot. And like all crossbows, it's essentially a pretty accurate weapon. So we'll go again. That's it. Your 12th century crossbow.